Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and I would like to welcome you to a little bit of a different type of a video on my channel. I will be unboxing something, but it's not going to be the doll. It is, however, directly connected to my doll collecting and it's a baby gear item. So, um, oh, I, I have a box in here but I pulled it out of the box. I didn't want to be fiddling and struggling with it here on camera forever. So <clears throat> I don't want this video to be like a, an hour long, but there is a little bit of backstory behind this. Um, as you know, some of you who have been following me, I am very local. I have a very active local group and we do a lot of like doll shows, a lot of outings. We have, we have, we have meetups a couple of times a year and um therefore i had to buy the stroller i do have a stroller a different stroller it is a big stroller it's nice i love it there's nothing wrong with it uh, it's iq german stroller the brand and i will insert probably the, i may insert the picture here somewhere on, on your screen to, so you can see how it looks nothing wrong with that stroller honestly I wouldn't even buy the new one, but at the last meetup slash doll show, oh my gosh, when was it? It was this spring in March, I think. I think it was March or April. April. Oh gosh, kill me. Anyways, it was supposed to be nice <clears throat> the weather was so perfect uh for the past like couple of days right before the doll show so we decided okay we're going we're going to be going <clears throat> to uh kent county doll show it's going to be fun we always go so i got there and my stroller so you have the idea it consists of the bassinet that goes inside of the car and then I have this uh, like wheel base that goes into my trunk of my car. And you have to, obviously you have to pull out the, the base like usual, like with most of the strollers. And then you take the bassinet, you just click it on. And then, you know, I, of course I drag half of my household with me. So I have a doll bag with me, all that stuff. Um, anyways, uh, what happened that, that day was basically it came, the horrible storm came it was like raining and snowing and it was like temperatures dropped to insanity i thought i was about to freeze i wasn't like properly dressed it's kind of like my fault because it's april's weather everybody knows that and i live in chicago i should know better but the problem was the rain so i have been and this happened this was not the first time this happened to me i had my doll with me inside of the car, inside of the bassinet on a back seat. And then I had the stroller base in my trunk, which I needed to get out to the rain. And it was, guys, it was just really, it was bad, like high winds, the rain was just slashing you, it was just awful. So I had to go, I opened my trunk, I pull out the base, I uh, basically like unfold it. And it's a big base. The, the stroller is nice. It's, it kind of has, I have, I will have to show you like comparison videos of both of them. It has like also like off-road, like trail kind of a wheel. So when we go to the park and uh, to have these meetups and all that, it's, it's fabulous. Okay. It rides so smoothly, so easy to navigate, but the base, it takes me a little bit like of a fiddling to, because I have a back issues. I have two herniated back, uh, discs. So it takes me for like a minute or two sometimes it depends on how i'm feeling with my back to like click it all together and then i have to go back to the trunk remember it's drizzling there's the storm going on and then i have to pull out the bassinet with my doll inside which is kind of heavy if i add the weight of the doll into the uh, to the weight of the bassinet so it was a disaster like long story short it was a disaster um i got totally drenched i almost got an anxiety attack because as much as i was trying to like cover my doll i did have a rain cover 
but with all that fiddling i almost slipped the bassinet my back totally like locked in it was just a disaster that was the first time when i started kind of thinking that i need something more compact for the outings when i'm not going to the park or like to like rugged terrain um you know something smaller for the outings when we go just to the doll show when i just take the thing out and i go to the parking lot to the doll show floor and then to restaurant i don't really need to have this big stroller and constantly you know to, to take it out click it together go to the doll show that take it out take it take it apart put it into car into the car drive to the restaurant it's just like never ending and oh for my back craziness so i decided to see like what's out there something smaller that i could use just you know some something as i said more compact and i was looking at a couple of brands i absolutely adore nuna pipa like nuna mix to love 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 that stroller uh, and all variations i absolutely love stocka i almost bought it but that again that's that, that one is a big one too and it's heavy so ultimately i decided on duna and uh, but duna has like pricey like hefty price tag so i decided you know what i'm going to be just checking facebook marketplace i love facebook marketplace i absolutely love to hunt for good deals and i love to buy and sell i evidently buy and sell on local facebook marketplace especially with bigger like um household items so i have been checking that and of course there have been a lot of them on my facebook marketplace um apparently there is a lot of scams going on with duna a lot of people are trying to take advantage that this is something popular uh, <clears throat> right now at this moment so it's unbelievable with scammers they will sniff like the popular items immediately and you you will oh my gosh like half of the listings were uh scammers guys and and if you you know how i uh know because i'm also on a poshmark and mercari so when I shop, I kind of like go to all selling platforms and I try to see, to compare the prices and everything. So suddenly I found this one doing, I, was, I think it was on Poshmark and it was in California. I would have to pay a lot for the shipping, but I loved that one. It was in fabulous condition. The price was nice. And then I go to my local Facebook marketplace and I see these pictures from this seller. And this scammer was pretending that, yeah, yeah, they're here in Chicago selling this drawer. I knew immediately, okay? So then I'm like, what's going on here? And then when you start looking, you kind of can't tell when there is a new account and they, they just want, uh, like, certain types of the payments. You know, it's shady. Don't do that. Anyways, I found this just because right now I'm digressing. I found this one in about, I was searching, I missed a couple of good deals, which really, really upset me. <laughs> and I was talking to, in the meantime, I was talking to my friends and I was talking to Dina and Joe from Love My Boys. They are my local friends and I adore them. And uh, we have been friends. We basically built the local group together. So. I was talking to Dina and she was kind of like helping me to message sometimes or like to look because I, I work long hours certain days. So I was talking to her and I found this one. I sent her the picture. But the problem was this was located in a far, far, far away suburb from me. And I just did not have time to go drive that day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose this good deal once again, just like the two previous ones, just because I don't have time to be driving uh, there. And the problem is not only the distance, it's afternoon traffic in Chicago, it's just uh, mayhem. So I noticed that this stroller was located in Dina's neighborhood. So I immediately texted her, I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, look at this, but this is like in this neighborhood. And immediately, like within a couple of seconds, Dina goes, would you like me and Joe to go there and to check it out? This is what awesome, fabulous, fantastic friends are like, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Dina and Joe, once again. I'm like, oh my gosh, 
would you like be willing to do that? So they hopped in a car and they went to see the, the store. They were sending me pictures, little videos, and she just texted me, it's really in a good condition. It's basically, it was used like two or three times, guys. Even the wheels are brand new looking. There is not one scratch. It's completely clean and crazy. I already disinfected it because, you know, I have OCD. But otherwise, it was absolutely not even needed. It came in a box with all original things with uh, the car seat base even and car seat protector, which I will, I'm going to uh, show you. Uh, but yeah, so they, they were the, went there and they picked it up for me and I was just thrilled. So I sent them the money and uh yeah it was with them for about like two months guys i'm not even kidding the original plan was that weekend or the next weekend just to meet up for like a lunch and to pick it up but the things my schedule and everything my work is so unpredictable and then they got busy they had some family things going to uh had, they had to attend and all that stuff so it was really like grossly postponed but finally last week on friday was it a friday guys yes last week on friday we finally met up uh we grabbed the lunch and they brought over this thing which i'm super excited guys and i'm going to show you i was all also shopping for this thing because i wanted to like uh cheer things up when i'm um taking my girls with me so i got myself a different color of the hood and a little bag anyways i'm going to show you let me just get situated here and i'll be right back guys okay guys so let me show you how this works uh oh my gosh it's so awesome so envision this this is like the box in my car uh my duna is sitting on my car seat so i just grab my car seat the doll is strapped in safely so i don't have to be like uh fiddling around i will strap the doll inside of this at home and i'll just put it into my car then i'll take it out and it's basically a car seat so i can take it to the store like this but also the perfection guys the perfection of this thing is in this detail it goes from let me show from car seat mode and by one pull it releases the wheels and it becomes the stroller. And then there's this handle. And I can adjust it to my height. I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'8". So this is a nice feature. I appreciate this as a taller person. And yeah, look how it rolls. It's just like perfect. Okay. So, as I said, I wanted to change things up. So when I will be having a boy doll in there, I will obviously keep the black hood on. Oh my gosh, this goes so smoothly. And the sound. It's like almost ASMR. And for Emmy or my girls, other girls, I decided to get the pink hood it's an original duna accessory and uh it's a hood and hold on it's a canopy not hood it's a canopy and two shoulder pads in a pink color which i will change i don't know if now but also the thing is i got myself This is uh, like a mosquito net or something. Okay, so there's uh, one thing if you noticed about this stroller, it has absolutely no storage. Usually the strollers have little storage bars kit underneath. This one doesn't because it would obviously defy the purpose and the whole idea of being compact. So I knew I had to get a bag and i ordered the duna bag because 
the, the one that I have for my other stroller, it's not compatible. Like it's it's big. There is no way I could be clipping it on here. It would just be weird looking. So I decided to get Dunas. And cool thing is the Dunas accessories all click like together, like literally. You have this little button here, like sticking out. It's not a button. It's like little thingy. You take your bag and you basically click it on the bag has the opening here so you just take it and you click it on and there it is you do the same thing on the other side and here i can you know have my things in here because obviously i don't like to take my purse to outings and to doll shows i have i like to have everything like at one place which is always my stroller bag so this is nice and when i'm like only taking the baby or i just need to carry the bag around i can uh, this is like a purse type of a bag so this is cool i like this i will really love this i think it's awesome so yes I will show you the canopy and the shoulder rest at my next meetup video, guys, or outing video that I have planned. I do have a picnic meetup coming in August. It's going to be fun, like super fun because there are a lot of activities planned, guys. We are going to have a big box opening there too. So I will be filming. You will see everything. And also we have doll shows coming and I have like mall uh, outing coming out, coming up soon as well, hopefully. So I will see how the ladies have time and everything. But yeah, I can't wait to test this out. I'm going to be showing all the other accessories right there in action. But yeah, this is, this is my new stroller, guys. I absolutely love it. And it does have brakes. also which is awesome and it's not going anywhere anyways guys thank you so much for watching that would be it because the video is like forever already i hope you at least enjoyed a little bit i hope you like my new stroller um if you have any questions let me know guys okay so i think that's all for today uh, what i wanted to show you i hope you really like my new car seat slash stroller i absolutely adore it i can't wait to test it out there in a the field as they say uh i really would like to thank again dina and joe thank you so much for helping me out for driving and picking this up for me i adore you guys and i'm so thankful for good friends in my life so thank you so much it's a shout out to you uh dina does have a channel but she doesn't make videos her channel's name i'm going to link down below it's uh love my boys love my boys and yeah but she and joe are in every single outing video and every single meetup video so i think everybody who watches my channel kind of like knows dina and joe <laughs> and all the other ladies who are in my uh, local group, but yeah, that will be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I wish you a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you in our next video. Bye.